What's going on, fellas? Welcome to the Big C Sports Network. This is something new I'm bringing to the channel. Two to three times a week, you'll get a highlight package of all the franchise and dynasties that live on this channel. So let's kick things off, man, in Dallas as our reigning defending four-time national champions, the Grand State Tigers, open the season against the team they defeated in the national championship last season, the Texas Longhorns. This offseason left a lot of holes for the Tigers, but Coach Fobbs believes he still has a chance to win his fifth straight title. To Jerry's World we go. Number one, Grambling State puts their historic win streak on the line, taking on the number two team in the country, the Texas Longhorns. And this one was good early. First quarter action, Cody Walker keeps the option right, makes a juke inside, finds a lane, hits the turbo, and picks up 12. Then Walker drops back, rolls out to his left, Tries to throw away, but gets sacked for a huge loss. Now it's second along. Walker going back to the air, but gets hit, and he fumbles. Matthew scoops it up and gets pulled down at the 10-yard line. Two plays later, Gooden takes the sweep. Lev has a huge lane, and he walks into the end zone. Texas strikes first, 7-0. Tigers take back over. Walker with the three-step drop. Tries to throw the slam, but gets picked off by Merrick. That's a terrible start for the defending champs. And the Longhorns take full advantage. Chance drops back, decides to take off, stiff arming his way into the end zone. Texas is up two scores. But here comes GSU. O'Connor takes the counter right, gets the edge, turns up the speed, and he picks up 22. Later in the drive, Walker keeps the option right, makes a cut, and he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Grambling. Tigers cut the lead in half. Texas looks to answer. Chance hits Arnold on the screen. He catches a few blocks downfield, but gets rocked and fumbles out of bounds. A few plays later, Chance shows off his mobility, sneaking out left, shedding tackles, and the QB picks up 16. Next play, the QB tries the screen again, but this time Benson undercuts the route and gets the interception. What a play by the corner. And the Tigers would come out running. Walker keeps the option right. Has a lot of green in front of him, drops those shoulders and picks up 14. Later, Walker goes back to the air, connected with Tim Clark on the drag route. The big tight end rumbles his way to nine yards. Then the junior QB drops back, rolls out to the right, and look at this throw to Antonio Walker in the end zone. Touchdown, Grambling. We're knotted at 14. After Texas goes three and out, Walker comes out throwing, connected with Harper over the middle for 16. Two plays later, Cody drops back, Rolls out right and decides to take off, turning the corner, juking back inside, and he gets 18. Then on second down, a scary moment for GSU. Pierre Jackson goes up the middle, gets hit, and picks up 10, but he would stay down more on his injury in a few. Next play, C-Dub with the deep drop, and he throws a rope to Hicks in the end zone. Touchdown, Grambling. Tigers take the lead. Next Texas possession, Chance drops back. Tries to check it down, but gets picked off by Brian Chase, and he is gone. Touchdown, Grambling. What a play by the sophomore linebacker. Tigers are up 15, but Chance is giving his team a chance, connected with Rose behind the coverage for 24. Two plays later, Chance drops back. He waits and takes off, and he gets into the end zone, cutting the lead down to seven. Next GSU possession, O'Connor takes the handoff. He hits the hold on the left, finds some space, and the speedy back picks up 18. Then Walker with the quick drop, and he hits new starter Mike Jones on the slant. He turns upfield and picks up 15. Next play, Walker goes back to the air, rolls out to his left, and he tucks it. He cuts back inside and powers his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Grambling. No Jackson, no problem for the Tigers. We got two minutes left to go in the half for Texas. Gooden takes the handoff. He has tons of running room, and the power back chugs his way to 21 yards. It would lead to a Texas field goal. Ensuing kickoff, Eric Rodgers is back deep, and he's bringing it out. He starts up the seam, bounces it out left, turns the corner, and he hits the gas. The roadrunner goes 105 yards to the house. Touchdown, Grambling. Tigers lead 42-24. Then just before the half, Chance breaks out right. He sheds the tackle, then gets rocked by Mike Anderson, and it's a fumble. Benson scoops it up, and nobody's going to catch him. Touchdown, Grambling.
Tigers put up 49 points in the first half. Start the third, Chance comes out hot, going deep to Tally. He sheds a tackle and is gone. One play, one touchdown, what a pitch and catch by the Longhorns. Tigers look to answer. Cody connects with Antonio on the slant. He turns, and he picks up 18 yards. Then Cody, all game, showed off his running ability, rolling out to his left, finding space, and he finally steps out after picking up 19. Next play, EOC takes the handoff up the middle, finds a lane, and look at the power by the speedster. Touchdown, Grambling. Tigers break 50. After a Texas three and out, Walker keeps the option right. And look at all the run in space. He gets upfield, sheds a tackle, and picks up 32. But on third and long, Walker tries to go over the middle to Hicks and gets picked off by Gibson. That's three turnovers for the junior today. But GSU would get it right back. Chance drops back, decides to tuck it. He finds some space, gets hit, stumbles, and it's a fumble. Aaron Wilkinson scoops it up and turns on the Jets. Touchdown, Grambling. And that would do it. The Tigers win in impressive fashion, 69 to 38. Cody Walker finished with 277 yards and four scores, and he turned it on when the Tigers needed him most. After Jackson went down in the second, Cody threw for only 41 yards, but had 114 yards on the ground. He carried the offense across the finish line and led the Tigers to an open day victory. Back to Pierre Jackson, though, he will miss the next four to six weeks with back spasms. Coming up after the break, the Raiders are back with a new home and lofty expectations. They look to get things going in preseason against the Green Bay Packers. For behind the scenes fun and family vlogs, hit up our weekly vlog channel. We've got almost a thousand family fun videos over there. Join the Mag Pack, link is down in the description. Welcome back guys. The Raiders finished last season seven and nine. Going into the off season, they were excited. A brand new home in Las Vegas and two first round players that John Gruden believes will make an immediate impact. The Raiders are hoping to make a playoff run, but first we have to play football that doesn't really matter. It's preseason football from historic Lambeau Field. The new look Las Vegas Raiders look to start the season on the right foot with some new faces. First quarter action, Jones takes the stretch right but new middle linebacker Terrell Conley is there to make the tackle. Next play, Aaron Rodgers gets hot. He drops back and throws a dot to Devontae Adams on the outside for 12. Then A.A. Rod and Adams would hook up again, this time over the middle for 17 more. Later in the drive, Rodgers goes back to the air, but here comes the rush. Cleveland Farrell gets the sack, and that's what the Raiders are expecting. Big things from the second-year player this season. Raiders take over, and Carr comes out throwing, hitting rookie Chris Blythe on the sideline for 11. Then Jacobs tries to go up the middle, but gets stuffed by the Packers' D-line. Vegas going for it on fourth. Carr tries to hit Blythe on the outside, but the pass falls incomplete. And that sets the Packers up with a short field. Rodgers connects with Jones over the middle. He makes a juke, then gets rocked and fumbles. Raiders would recover. What a hit by Nelson and Joyner. And the offense takes over. Jacobs with the stretch right. He gets the edge and picks up five. That's going to be his best run of the day. Then on third down, Carr goes back to the air. And he connects with rookie Blythe again, this time for 10 yards. Later in the drive, Carr drops back and throws a rocket to Darren Waller up the seam for the first. DC finished 6-9 to nine for 84 yards. The backup running back, Jalen Richard, takes the stretch out right, gets the edge, cuts it back inside, and he picks up 18. Next play, Carr goes back to the air. It connects with Waller over the middle. Raiders just outside the red zone. After a penalty, Carr drops back. He stands tall in the pocket, and he hits Blythe over the middle, and now it's first and goal. Start the second quarter, Jacob's still in the game. He takes the handoff up the middle and gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Raiders. Vegas leads 7-3. Next Packers possession, Williams takes the handoff, but Jonathan Aram gets the TFL. Later in the drive, Boyle drops back. He moves around in the pocket, and he's looking to go deep, but he gets picked off by Mullen, and look at all that green in front of him. He takes it back to the crib. Touchdown, Raiders. Vegas up 14-3. Green Bay looks to answer. Boyle goes to the air. He swings it out to Williams in the flat. He avoids the tackle, and he gets into Raiders' territory. Later in the drive, Boyle drops back. 
and he connects with Williams again. He breaks two tackles and is off to the races. He gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. They set up to kick the extra point, but Ward blocks it. Johnson scoops it up, and nobody's going to catch him. 75 yards later, that's two points for the Raiders. Vegas takes over. Tannehill with the deep drop, and he drops a dime to Moreau over the middle for 13. Few plays later, Tannehill goes back to the air, and he tries to hit Foster, but he drops it. Later, Tannehill from the gun, and he hits Foster, but no, he drops it again. Now it's third and long. Tannehill loads up and tries to connect with Foster, but it falls incomplete. Three passes drop for the wideout. Packers take over. Boyle drops back, but here comes the rush. Arden Key gets the sack. Vegas takes back over, and the run game is the focus. Rashard takes the stretch, and he picks up nine. Then Tannehill with the deep drop, and he tries to hit Foster again, but gets picked off. Rough start for the backup QB. But on the next play, Boyle with the play action. He loads up to go deep, but gets picked off by rookie Northrup, and he has some running room. He brings it back into Packers territory. But Tannehill will continue his rough start, completely overthrowing Foster on this one. Then he goes back to the air and misses Moreau wide open in the end zone. Raiders will have to settle for three. Next Vegas possession, Rose the third takes the stretch right. He weaves through traffic and he hits the gas. He stiff arms one and dives into the end zone. Touchdown Raiders. What a run by the running back. Packers take over. Boyle goes back to the air and hits Williams in the flat, and he gets into the end zone. Raiders lead 26-16. After Raiders three and out, Boyle is dotting up the secondary. He connects with his wideout. He jukes and is off to the races. He shakes a tackle and gets brought down at the 15. Later, it's third down. Boyle goes back to the air, slides left, but here comes the pressure. Max Crosby gets the sack. He would fumble, but the Packers would recover and settle for three. Raiders next possession, Rose gets the handoff, finds the lane on the left, bounces it outside, and now he gets 15. Later drive, the drops continue. Tannehill throws it to Foster, and it falls incomplete. Then on third down, Tannehill completes only his second pass of the game to Nelson on the sideline. A few plays later, Ryan drops back, and he connects with Carr in the drag route. He has some running room and gets down to the eight. Next play, Tannehill from the gun. He scans the field and throws a dart to Carr in the end zone. Touchdown, Raiders. Vegas up 33-19. Last chance for the Packers. Boyle drops back. He steps up, tries to go to the outside, but Ward picks him off, and that would end the game. The Las Vegas Raiders get their first win. Not really. 33 to 19. Highlight of the game has to be Larry Rose the third. 13 carries for 165 yards and a score. My only concern moving forward is the secondary. The Raiders got carved up for 235 yards. Next up, a trip to Pittsburgh to take on the Steelers. Coming up, we take it to the hardwood. San Jose State was impressive in their first win. They look to keep their win streak alive when they take on Pepperdine. The San Jose State men's basketball team are opening some eyes on the West Coast, starting the season 2-1 and one, and beating Baylor by 21 points. This week, they welcome the waves from Pepperdine to town. First possession of the game, Knight with the screen. He hits Roberts in the post. Then he kicks it back out to Kirkley, and he knocks down a three ball. Then the senior guard gets the steal, and he takes it all the way to the cup. Spartans lead 5-0. Later, Taylor grabs the rebound. He pushes it up court tonight, and he drops the floater. San Jose State up four. Then after a missed three, Bryant gets the rebound. He kicks it to Wallace. They swing it to Kirkley. He drives. He kicks it back out tonight from the corner. Bottoms. Here, but here comes Pepperdine. Great movement without the ball. He spots up from three and knocks it down. Later, the big fella misses an easy bucket. Bryant gets the rebound. Kicks it over to Wallace. He throws it away but he rips it right back and gets out on the break for the easy layup. Then the San Jose trap works again. Wallace gets the steal. Captain Kirk picks it up, and he throws it down with one hand. Nasty. But Pepperdine's postgame was strong. Number four hits the drop step and gets the layup and one. Later, Seneca Knight gets the screen, kicks it to Kirk. 
He gets the screen and hits Bryant in the post for the finger roll. SJSU up six. Next trip down the waves in the zone. Knight drives, kicks it to Kirkley in the corner for three bottoms. Spartans go up seven. Kirk gets the screen and weaves his way to the hole for the tough layup. We're up nine. Then the waves break the press, kick it to the post, and this guy has all the post moves in his repertoire. He goes up and under for the layup. Later, Captain Kirk is trapped in the corner. He kicks it to the King on the wing, and he knocks it down. Big fella with the range. Next trip back down for Pepperdine, and the big fella showing his range, knocking down the tough jumper. But here comes San Jose, Nolden in the corner. He swings the rock. Knight pulls up the three and gets it blocked. But Kirk recovers, and he hits the floater for two. Then their big fella's getting the post, pulls out all the post moves, and ends up getting blocked by King. And Kirk gets a hold of the rock for the last shot. Great ball movement by San Jose State. Leads to a floater by Knight to end the half. Star of the second, Pepperdine starts things off in the post. And the big fella hits the hook over Bryant, cutting the lead down to eight. Then they go back to the post again. And look at the footwork from the big fella. He gets another easy deuce. But Kirk would end that streak, driving down the lane, taking the contact, and getting the layup. But the waves won't go away. Number 14 comes off the screens, pump fakes, and pulls the trigger, knocking down the three. Lead down to six, Kirk with the inbounds, and he goes coast to coast. Throw it down, little fella. Then their point guard and power forward play catch. He kicks it back out, and the point guard knocks down the three with a hand in his face. Next possession for Pepperdine, the Spartans' defense falls asleep, and they get an easy layup wave down five. Pepperdine goes full court, but Kirkley doesn't care. He turns on the Jets, splits the defense, and he gets the layup. Next trip down for the waves, the point guard drives, drops a bounce pass to the big fella, and he gets an easy two. But the waves would get it right back down in the post with a pump fake. He goes up for two, the lead's down to one. Next Spartans possession, Knight with the screen. He gets down the lane and throws it down with two hands. Then Kirkley breaks the press, gets double teamed, kicks it to Palmer in the corner for three bottoms. Pepper died down two, and they're killing San Jose State in the post. Their big fella gets another layup. Now the game is tied. Then Knight catches the screen, cuts across the lane, kicks it to Palmer in the corner for three bottoms. But the lead's back down to one. Kirkley brings the ball up court. He calls for the screen. He turns the corner and gets the layup. We're back up by three. Next Pepperdine possession. Their point guard gets trapped. Ripped by Knight. He picks it up and gets the layup. Lead up to five. But the Waves will cut the lead down to one. Knight catches the screen. He drives down the lane, kicks it to Balmer in the corner, buckets! But Pepperdine is still fighting. Their point guard drops a dime to the big fella, and he muscles his way up for the layup. But Captain Kirk is trying to close it out, blowing past the defense, driving to the hole for the layup. Spartans lead up to three. Kirkley gets caught in the trap. He gets ripped. They drive, drop a bounce pass, and get the layup. The lead is down to one. Spartans look to hold the ball. Kirkley dribbles. Gets the screen, kicks it out to Bomber. He squares up, three ball, and that would do it. The Spartans hold off a tough Pepperdine squad, 68 to 64. Kirkley led the way with 29 points and eight assists. Knight chipped in with 16, and Bomber had 13 off the bench. Next up for the Spartans, a trip to Harvard. And that's going to do it for the first episode of BCSN. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're brand new, and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the show. Also, hit those links down in my description. Follow your boy on Facebook, Twitter, and IG at Big C Got Game. And we'll holler at you guys in the next one. Have a great day, guys. Two fingers in the air. Peace.